A new Medieval Cop episode just dropped, so I'm back with another video. And today, we're all gonna focus on the continuation of the main plotline. What do we have here, man? Funeral guest? Oh, who died? Uh, pardon me, but is this the funeral of uh, Mr. Robert Orthus? Yes, this is Bobby's funeral. His death was a shock to us all in the office. How did you know him, good sir? I was a swimming instructor. Huh? Swimming instructor? Wait, didn't Bobby die by drowning in the river after he slipped and fell from a bridge? I, I see the uh, irony here, but th there could be many more things going wrong there. Yeah, I'm considering a serious change in my career now. <laughs> Cheese. So, that's the father, the priest, doing his little sermon. Yep. God works in mysterious ways. He can bring forth life from nothing but dirt. Or he could also decide to send you back to that same dirt of the earth. <laughs> Brother Bobby. Thank you for coming to Robert Orta's funeral, who was also affectionately known as Bobby. I would also like to take this chance to point out that we are having a 50% discount for a couple's funerals. <laughs> Capitalism ruins funerals. <laughs> title for the- yeah, that's the title. There we go, I got my title. <laughs> You can get even more discounts if you choose to lay together in the same coffin, and... Yeah, a two-for-one deal, huh? Hmm... Ahem? Uh -huh. uh, um, sorry. In our poor clients' wishes, this is an open casket ceremony. But why is it closed, then? Miss Dahlia Orthus, sister of the deceased, if you would be so kind. Yes, uh, a moment, please. What is gonna happen here? Joan? Jo 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 is this a Jojo reference? Please no. Please no. We, we need to... Joan? Joan, please. We need you. Bobby needs his wife. You, too. I know. It's just hard to believe. He's really gone. Holds Joan's hands. I know, Jojo, I know. Come here, I will be with you every step of the way. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Now, the closest relatives of the deceased. Please open the casket so as the deceased wishes can be fulfilled. Yep, that's a, that's a dead Robert. Ah. Uh. Bobby! My dear Bobby! Bobby, you idiot. Why did you have to go and leave us behind? Look how devastated your wife is! Ah, crying. Bobby was a good man, a gentle brother, and a loving husband. His passing has... been interrupted? Who are you? Who's that man with the dashing moustache that Vilro would uh, probably, I don't know, moustache fight with? <laughs> a moustache fight is exactly what you think it is. It's just two dudes brushing their moustaches together. <laughs> oh, uh, my apologies for beginning early. I, I thought all guests had arrived already. Huh? What the hell are you doing here? Uh, Joan, uh, my, my child, I... Get out of here, Dad! They even invited you to the funeral! Uh, I did. I invited Mr. Harold Gibson. Ooh. We're gonna have some drama! Damn it, Dahlia! You know how much I hate him? Jojo, I know I didn't approve of your marriage to Robert, but... But what? Not that he's dead, you think I would come crawling back to you? Screw that! Sis, please. It's not like that. Ryan? At least you should have the sense not to bring him here. 
What were you thinking? Jojo, can't you let bygones be bygones? We're just here to support you. Too late. Five years too late. You have no right to be here. Jojo, I apologize for interrupting, but we are losing precious time. Oh yeah, because we are, uh, you know, on a schedule since there's another funeral happening, maybe? Or perhaps there's a sermon? I don't know. This is... This is... Wait, what is this? Is this a funeral home or is this... This is not a church, right? No, this is not a church. No way it's a church. Not as long as he's here. Uh, uh, of course. M Mr. Gibson, I'm sorry, but could you wait in another room? I will talk to Jojo and meet you after this. I, Dad, let's go. I'll also talk with Jojo later. Let's find a place for you to wait. Hmm. Very well. Jeez. If I didn't know this was supposed to be some kind of comedy, this would be really sad. <laughs> uh, apologies for the interruption. We shall now continue. Jojo, I'm sorry. I just thought... I know. Let's just get through this first. Yes. I shall now read a few pages from the good book. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I see the developer is very religious as well. Oh, I see a dagger. I see a dagger right there. Maybe that'll be used to murder someone. Who knows? Also, please, no. No, why is, why is there a window behind the cabinet? Why? Ah. Oh my god, it's just stinging me in the eye right now. Uh, oh well, I, I'm just gonna have to ignore it. Damn it! I even endeavor that bastard continues to destroy this family! Dad, please! Not now! Not here! Now when? That's why that bastard would reveal his true colors and abandon her when I threw Jojo out of my state and will. Or maybe he truly loved her and not your wealth? I mean, they have not been in contact with us for over five years. You innocent fool. He was playing the waiting game. He knew I would break one day and bring her back. I don't know if it's luck or divine retribution, but our robber dying is good news for us. We'll have your sister back in no time. I think Mr. Gibson is a bit del delusional. I don't agree with the first part of your sentence, but I also want to bring her back. However, you need to stop bout mouthing Robert for that to happen. He's gone. Please leave those feelings behind. <sighs> You're right. You're right. I... <coughs> uh, I will try to control myself. Where are we anyway? Uh, d dude. Do you have... Do you have memory issues? You walked here, right? I think this is the room where they keep the deceased personal items for display. Oh, no, they meant the room. Okay, gotcha. It's supposed to give you an idea about the kind of person the deceased was. It is seemingly popular nowadays. <laughs> I... <coughs> I don't need to go through this stuff to... <coughs> to know what kind of monster that... <coughs> that man was. Dad? You okay? Seems like your throat is dry. <laughs> I guess so. <coughs> I'll get you a glass of water. S sit tight. While you're doing that, could you check up on your sister? From afar? <laughs> you mean spy on her? Of course. I'll be back. What will happen? What's this? His diary? Wait, wasn't he illiterate? No. Oh. Wait, it's Jojo's handwriting. Ooh, we get events happening at the same time here. God is all-knowing, but he's also very secretive about the things he knows. In short, uh, I still can't find my underwear. What? That's very private, man. Ryan? Waves at her. No. I asked the widow, Joan Orthus, to come to the podium and say a few words. Thank you all for coming to my husband's Bobby's funeral. Shoujo. 
Bobby's death was probably as much as a shock to you as much as it was for me. Since he kept his friends very close and... What the hell? Why did it just suddenly turn dark? Huh? What the? Why is it dark all of a sudden? That's weird. These guys were clear moments ago. Must be a huge cloud floating above us. It should go away in a couple of... Holy crap! That dude got struck by lightning! Panicked screaming. Uh... Where did... Where did Robert go? And that's how the zombie apocalypse began. <laughs> Medieval cop. Medieval zombies, you mean. Jojo! Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> that startled me. My roof! Oh, the one thing that isn't covered by my insurance! <sighs> that was too close! A couple of feet in would have been... Ooh, they noticed. Ah! Bobby! B bobby Where's Bobby's body? No way. Did that lightning evaporate him? Oh no! That means... That means I have to return a deposit for the cemetery arrangements! <laughs> yes, yes, let the inner capitalist in you come forth! <laughs> Wait, why did that other room suddenly turn dark and we focused here? What the hell? No. No. No, there's no way that he's gonna end up here. No. Did the body fly through the roof and now gonna drop the to roof into- Nah, that's- that's way too weird. What in God's name was that? Lightning strike? But there were no clouds when I came in. <laughs> I'm too old for such sudden shocks. I need a minute to calm. Okay, no, so that actually did just happen. Right. Now, okay, you're not gonna tell me it's not a zombie. Okay, he opened his uh, eyes. He still got that dead look on him. <laughs> Rob? Robert? No, it can't be. Harold, <laughs> you... You forsake us, forsake your daughter. Is this something, has this something to do with Satan? Uh, or Beelzebub in this case? Did we do something wrong because Drag is gonna end up here, right? It's gonna be some kind of case. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but something gonna, this has to have something to do with whatever happened in hell. Like, I don't know, some kind of soul that slipped through or I don't know, a deal that Beelzebub made? Something along those lines? What? What nonsense are you speaking? I never abandoned you! She left us! For you! I am here to take you to hell with me, where you belong. You? Take me to hell? We'll see about that. I mean, the dagger was there. It was obvious that it was gonna get used. Uh. Return back to the dead, you monster! Wait! Ah! And down goes Robert. Again. Huh? Was that a scream? And then someone else got struck by lightning! I think that came from the display room. Dad! And so we've got a murder mystery on our hands. It's actually double-sided, you know? How did he come back to life? How did he end up there? And then, well, the killing is pretty obvious. That's not really a mystery. It's, it's the first part that's the mystery. I... 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 You, you, you what? I mean, unless, unless he didn't kill him. Unless something else happened, he didn't actually stab him. Because there's, if you look at the blade, there's no blood on it. I, I, I'm not sure. D Dad? What happened? Why is Bobby... I, I, I killed him. What? I, I killed your already dead zombie husband. <laughs> so was this a killing? I mean, if you take out a zombie, is that killing? It's kind of funny how you actually put like the degree of murder on something that when it's a sentient being, but when you kill a bug, it's not murder, it's just killing a bug, a bug, you know? 
It's just because we have like the idea of intelligence that we put murder on top of it. Like this this negative quotation, like you shouldn't do actually you know, you, you shouldn't it's not like I'm I, I'm not telling you to go murder someone. I'm not I'm not oh, I should just shut up. Uh series K by Fast and J played by me, your entertainment monkey, Dark Monkey Back from the Dead And back to the dead from where he came immediately after. Like, that was a very short-lived second, uh, chance. So, uh, let me get this story straight. Is this Treg? Ah, it's Tira. Or is it Polly? It's Polly. This person, Robert Orthus, was already dead? Y yes And you were attending his funeral? Well, Jojo, I, uh, Joan, his, his wife and I arranged the funeral. And everybody else was a guest. And if I'm reading this right, the sky suddenly went dark and lightning punched through the roof on the body? Yes, uh, not to mention the body immediately disappeared after that and appeared in front of my father. Who was terribly silent today. I mean, he did kill a dead man, but going off what we've seen before, he isn't usually this silent. He's usually very outspoken. Right, the dead body, now an undead, attacked your dad, threatening him to take him to hell? Joan's standing there in the corner. That's what he said to us, but there's no way that's true! My brother was not like that! Yeah, it's not possible scientifically for someone to come back from the dead! So stop lying! Right, Tira? Oh no, she's gonna, she's gonna completely go with it. Actually, we've, we've seen people come back from the dead in this game already, didn't we? Jag has. Multiple times. T tira Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> Those are the worst words to use in a situation like this. Like, there's no situation where you have to use these kind of words that anything that comes out of your mouth after is gonna sound okay. Oh well, let's hear it. What the? You believe in this stuff? I expected more from you at least. Well, I did experience some crazy stuff a few months ago, so the least I can do is give it the benefit of the doubt. Tira. Tira, I, I will admit, you getting a boyfriend is nothing short of a miracle. Uh, what? Wait, whoa, hold, wait, hold on. I kind of forgot, but she didn't have a boyfriend last time, did she? Oh, wait, no. Oh my god, yeah, it's been eight months, man. It's been eight months. Now I remember, she actually did get the boyfriend. Because Dreg made sure that she met with the dude that she was together with in another universe. If this sounds really complicated, it's because it is, isn't it? it? Yeah, it is. But that doesn't mean you can start believing in ghosts and stuff. Coincidences happen only once. Hold on, I wasn't talking about my boyfriend. Tira, why the stutter? It's the early love, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's the early love. Uh, no matter how many times I say it, I still can't help blushing whenever I remember him. You are blushing next to a corpse. How can you even think of love in this scenario? Yeah, I'm not saying it. What? L love? Did he say anything to you about love? Confess, damn it! Hey, let me go! No, I was making an assumption! I met him only once, remember? Then don't say such misleading things! We have not spoken that word yet! Get lost! Hey, whoa! <laughs> don't anger the mad woman. <laughs> you will get hit. Yeah, I swear this woman has gotten more violent instead of coming down after getting a boyfriend. Oh, wait, there is Jack. I, I didn't notice him. He was staying quiet. All of his. Yeah, he was staying quiet right there in his corner. Couples discount, you say? <laughs> what, Jack? You, you thinking about sharing a coffin with, uh, with Ada? Oh, yes! We can bury you and your significant daughter in the same grave for the price of one. Ada's not in a hurry to be in a grave, so maybe I can take a postman to the grave with me. <laughs> But it also means I have to sleep next to a postman for all eternity. Oh, that's a tough choice. <laughs> Why the hell are you wasting time here? 
Polly, help me out. Should I take a potion with me or lie in a grave alone for all eternity? I don't care as long as worms eat your brains out like you two are eating mine. What are you two, my kids? K kids? Right. I need to stand up my game and want to see Lyra and Mira again. Oh, no, 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 no. Take it easy, Tira. Take it easy. Don't rush the relationships. How are you so sure that we'll have two girls when you haven't even closed the deal yet? <laughs> Polly is having a mental breakdown here. <laughs> Inside information? What? Don't worry, Tira. I've already made arrangements upstairs to have those two souls set aside for you. Upstairs? Souls? So take your time. Whenever you're ready, let me know. I'll have them immediately transferred to you. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate the extra effort. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Polly is completely in the dark here and he's 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 so confused. <laughs> I swear something is up with you two, and for some reason I'm the only one being left out. Yep, yep he is. And we're all in on it. And we're all in on it. Uh, officer? Uh, oh, uh, yes, Mr. Gibson? I'm ready now. Please take me to jail. Dad! I'm still not sure if he was undead or just acting dead, but it's still true that I stabbed him to death. Hey, what do you mean by that? He was acting dead? He was dead! How dare- How low are you willing to fall? Stop lying already! I- I'm not lying! I swear! He was moving and talking and he threatened to take me to hell! Do you even realize how insane you sound right now? Just admit you wanted to desecrate his corpse! How did you even manage to move his body? That's enough! That's not a monster! I know you two are angry, but please, take a moment to think about what you're saying! I... That's... Alright, that's enough. Maybe we don't have all the details yet, so let's not be hasty. What we see, hear, or even feel can sometimes turn out to be something differently from reality. Good one! Might never use that phrase in my next funeral event. <laughs> Dude, he's even calling it a funeral event. Tira, take the ladies somewhere calm and take the statements. I'll be along shortly. Sure. But can it really be an undead? You are an expert in the supernatural, after all. It's too early to tell. Also, stop talking about this stuff openly. Not everyone can handle it. Then I will relocate these two someplace else. We don't want another fight breaking out. I'll also take their statements. Okay, I'll look into this room in the meantime. Priest, you're with me till then. Sure. Alright, let's get to work. Can't say this is the weirdest case I've worked on, but... But it definitely is in the top 100. I mean, he ain't lying. We haven't even had 100 cases, so I, I, he isn't lying. Ooh, that would be something. Making a, t a, t a tier list for all the, the cases that he has done. Ooh, that would be kind of... Oh, that would be fun. So, right now we're in the phase that we ex inspect the room. For clues. What? We don't have a coroner for our case? Yeah, there's a shortage due to other cases and our go-to guy, Dr. Sai, is now a kid who is also the devil, as you say. You are taking this information more maturely than I predicted. It is what it is. You know, can't you take a look at that body yourself? Ah, <sighs> fine. I mean, wouldn't we already have his death report in hand since he drowned? Of course! Here you go. It's included in this police report. Police report added to evidence. Right. So, what do we have? First of all, let's go and check on uh, the body. Hmm, so this is Mr. Undead. I should check out the police report first before examining him. Ah, okay, so actually just... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. We'll, we'll check on the evidence report here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We can open it up here. Clue none one a Robert Orthus drowned to death when lungs filled his water in the river. No sign of foul play was discovered. Ooh, this is one important word. Then. Well, well, well. It seems that there might have been foul play uh, in play. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the word then seems a bit foreshadowing. So uh, let's check on the body now. Hmm. According to the police report, Robert drowned to death, so anything other than that should stick out. 
Good to know you can still read with alcohol genociding your brain cells. So, he was stabbed to death, uh, again? By the old man with the sword, right? Wait, what again? Also, uh, going back, Drag has gotten really good at just <laughs> ignoring people, uh, making fun of him, right? Like, he, he totally just skipped right past what Tira said. <laughs> No thoughts given, no fucks given, nothing. Just fuck this shit. This is my day day to day life. Fuck this. I'm <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> uh but again he was stabbed to death again? What do you mean again? Yeah. Well he is examining the sword in another room as we speak. Oh no, you mean to death that he got killed again, not stabbed again. Gotcha. I'll speak with him later then. I'm seeing two stab wounds in the left abdomen. What about your side? No one's here to speak of, but... Two wounds? Did... Did the father-in-law, did, did he stab the dude twice? I think two stabs are more than enough to kill him. I mean, look at his blood. Wait, something's off. This was a funeral, right? I believe they do something to the body before putting it on display. Oh my god, yeah, the embalming process. Why is there still blood? Wait a minute, this is all wrong. What the hell is this? I only, mean, yeah, yeah, because Drake pointed it out. This was, uh, yeah, this is really weird. I mean, the embalming process, they, they cleaned everything out. There shouldn't be blood anymore. It should be embalming fluid. Right? Yeah, totally. Embalming is the process of removing blood and filling it with some fluid to delay decomposition. Oh, you're right! Then why is there blood in the first place? Did the embalmer forget to remove it? I, I, I don't think that's something you just get to forget. No, if this person really died in a river a few days ago, then his blood would have been completely, like, I don't know. A sludge is maybe the best kind of description. And totally not frozen. A few days ago, while well, they put them in a mortuary. Actually, no. This is something I don't know. If they put bodies in the mortuarium, are those bodies frozen? Like, is the blood in there frozen? Frozen solid? There's no way that it, it, it's not frozen, right? I actually don't know. It's not dried. It's not dried. Evaporated? How is blood gonna just poof and out of there? A sl it's a sludge or frozen. You know what? I'm going with my line of thought, and I'm not sure here, but. Might be frozen. God damn it, fuck it, frozen. Because of, I, I, I have a hunch that it might be freezing temperatures in the morgue. Okay, so that theory is right out the window. I was wrong. I'm gonna just take that L and I'm gonna answer a sludge. <sighs> I should have stuck with my first uh, idea. It would have been a sludge. Not this regular oozing type. Uh, I can't see anything through the holes. I can't tell if his body has blood. This is why we need a proper coroner. I believe most of her questions can be answered by the owner here. I must speak with him. Okay, so that's easy. So we have to follow up with that. Nope, 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 nope. Yes, this this is the dude. I should hold the relevant evidence in hand before speaking with him. Oh, okay, gotcha. So the relevant evidence is the body in question. This one. Officer, how long before everything is cleared? I still have to make arrangements for a birthday party tomorrow. What kind of place is this? Funeral by night? Birthday by day? I... what? You hold birthdays too? Sure, we do birthdays, funerals, sweet 16 parties, fight clubs, uh... Forget about our last one. <laughs> yeah, because the first rule of fight club is... Exactly. I will, if you tell me who embalmed the body of Robert Orthos. Well, it's me of course. I'm the owner, priest, embalmer, gravedigger, referee for the fight club- Uh, oops. <laughs> dude, dude, the first rule. You keep on making the same mistake here. Are you sure you embalmed him properly? Evidently he's still leaking blood. Hmm, it happens sometimes. A pocket of air traps the blood and the stabbing must have released it. Or maybe, just maybe, the victim, Robert Orthus, wasn't embalmed, was alive, was reanimated, wasn't embalmed. Ah, uh, what? Drake is actually going with the, uh, the supernatural here? 
Maybe he was actually alive. Reanimate. Nah, let's not go with the supernatural here. Maybe he wasn't really dead. Was he really dead or were you working with him to show the world that he died? Oh, what? Well, on earth would I do that? I I'm just a simple above the box guy. You just admitted about a fight club. Maybe Robert wasn't dead and wanted to fake his death to escape. I'm gonna stop you right there. I can assure you that Robert was dead at a funeral. Really? Do you have any proof? Like his death certificate or some government document? Better! I, I have uh, this! What the heck? Is, is that a brain? Wait, is that... Yes, this is Robert Horta's brain in a jar. And how exactly are you gonna prove that it is his brain and you didn't just stick a label on there? Why did you even... Were you carrying it with you this whole time? Why did you even remove his brain? His wife and sister asked to. Apparently it's their family custom. Wait, so that means the body shouldn't have a... The body shouldn't have one. You can see the stitches on his head from here because of the manhandling. I see. What are the chances of a body moving and threatening a person without a brain? Evidently it's higher than I thought. Seeing as you are moving around without a brain. <laughs> Touche. But that means Robert was really dead and could not move around. So what the hell is going on? Whatever might have happened, I can assure you, Robert Orthus was dead during the funeral. So it would seem. I need to speak to Tiro about this. Dead body. And Tiro is... Coincidentally, standing right here. So, what can you tell us? Ah, that was gross. But, yeah, I peeked through the stitches and there really is no brain inside. So, maybe that old man is lying. But why? Or maybe... He really was undead! I mean, they do exist, right? I mean, yeah, they do exist. We got pushed off a cliff in hell... During... What, what, what was it? Medieval Cop 8? By zombie saying 21. They do, but stabbing the undead would not kill it. They need to be cleansed with holy water or burned down to kill them. Ah, that's too bad. But that still doesn't explain the sky darkening and the lightning strike. I can understand why you think everything can be a supernatural phenomenon, but mostly there is a logical explanation for it. But you don't know what it is yet, too, right? But I intend to find it out. I'm pretty sure that I can find clues about it around here. Ah, and now we can actually go and look around for more clues. Oh, we've unlocked the rest of the place, okay. Now that I have a basic idea about what I'm looking for, I should check out the rest of the place. Alright, come find me if you need something. Blah 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 blah, I don't need to save. Let's just go and check out these bookcases. Anything in these items that is somewhat interesting? A brain in a jar. Some people desperately need one. <laughs> Robert's diary was written by Joan because Robert was illiterate. Nothing special about it. Huh. So, let me have a look around. Can I check on the blood? No. We actually have to go and look around then. Nothing here. We can't take any food. I mean, I'm getting kind of hungry. Let's talk to the priest again. I already showed you his brain. What other proof do you need to tell you he's dead? Sorry, I didn't mean to do this. I wanted to talk about other clues. I'm afraid I don't know much about it since it was the cathedral room alongside many others. I'm still looking for a candidate to be buried next to. I'll let you know when I find one. <laughs> and just a normal talk. Have you made a decision regarding the two for one discount? Oh wait, what? Oh, the dialogue here was a... Uh, I think the dialogue here was mixed up. Oh well. A fireplace. There's still some embers burning from the last wood. <sighs> this day has been nothing but a convoluted mess. It has, hasn't it? Talked about the case. More evidence. Okay, uh, I guess we have to go and look around more. I really wish I could turn back time. Right. Okay, well, let's have a look around then. Angel statues, got nothing. Do you have any more clues for us? 
Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you call the soul of the dead guy and ask him about what happened? That only works if the soul is present in this realm, which I can sense if it was here. Perhaps the soul is in the spirit realm. Oh, well, we know someone who can go and get it. Where is she even? Where's Amber? Oh, Polly, we haven't talked to you yet. What do you have for us? I don't know what's going on between you two, but it better not involve breaking any laws. It might involve breaking some laws of nature, but that is above your pay grade. <laughs> now let's talk about some clues here. Hey, uh, did you find something? Nope. Still looking for that second person to be buried within that grave. Why? Are you volunteering? I meant about the case, asshole. I'd rather be cremated than be buried in the same soil as you. Oh, well, it turns out the dead body was dead before the stabbing after all. The number of stabs on the body is two. It was two. And Polly's here gonna tell us that it was supposed to be one. Checks notes. He was stabbed twice. And no other major wounds were found. So he was really dead when the stabbing happened. This explains a lot and yet still nothing. What do you mean? Check out the sword he was stabbed with. It's no blood, right? The sword. It's covered with some thick liquid. Embalming fluid. Embalming fluid. Considering a dead body was stabbed, this is not surprising. Hmm. I'm seeing some blood mixed in here and there too. Yeah, that's the part I'm having trouble with. The blood is mostly inside and overcoated by the fluid. How did that happen? I think I got it. This sword is not a is not the weapon is not the only one. Stab two people. Woo! Could it be? Blood got on the sword. Nah, there was no blood on. Nah, there was no blood when he. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. No way. It's not the weapon. It's got. Nah, it's not the weapon. Oh crap. Okay. Oh wait, no, it was embalming fluid. Oh. Oh, why did I only realize it before I? Ah, uh, well, um, it's not the weapon, it's not the only one. There's no way he stabbed two people. Who else got killed here then? It's not the only one? Wait, two people? Who's the other one? I'm a bit confused here. This sword was used to stab two people. First the guy was actually stabbed and then the dead guy. But there was no blood on it when we saw it in, in you know, when it was displayed. There was no blood on it. The culprit. To maintain the facade a dead body was alive, stabbed it to make us feel like Mr. Gibson stabbed it. So that begs the question, where's the other guy? The true victim. If he really was injured badly enough, he might have escaped to a hospital. I will have someone check them out. But there was no blood trail. Hmm, that means that old man is probably lying. I should look into it. That was a clear sign of telling us to, like, go check up on the old man. Uh, Elsa, I wanna check the sword again. I've been meaning to ask, why is there a sword in this funeral? Was he a collector, a soldier, a serial killer, a soldier? Yes, he was. According to his records, he retired after an injury put him out of commission for months. So the sword is a retirement gift. That explains the decorative handle. Did he really cherish this thing? Probably. You're better off asking his widow or sister about it. They might know more. Okay, so we have two more people to talk about. Another item that was added to the evidence list. Also, did the amount of uh, clues just increase? I think it did. Also, since we're up here, let's check this out here. A night test chart. All things considered, I'm glad I don't need glasses. Uh, a medical supplies cabinet. Probably something for emergencies. Skeleton. Skeleton. Yes. Ooh, there's a pouch here. No money? No money. And it drains. Yeah, okay. Then. Why is this room here? There's, like, no clues up there. Nothing thrown away. This is a garbage bin. And that is a line that we always need in a RPG game when you talk to a garbage bin. You need that line. It is almost expected to have some kind of joke about a garbage bin. It's a note from the fire department. Wait, if I use this one, 
The new bungee jumping trend is dangerous and reckless. Please do not attempt it under any circumstances. Note, 1 out of 10 clues collected. Oh! There's more notes? Wait, what if I... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more notes. Where can I find more notes? No notes in the... I see notes. There's gotta be notes up here as well then. I will find them. Later. Not now. Now I'm gonna go and talk to the sisters. Actually, I'm taking the clues here. The Dace's newspaper. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, so every... Okay, I got it now. Every time you see some kind of clues like this, you need to interact with it with the thunder storm icon newspaper weather report dark clouds have been appearing lately but there is no indication of any rain yet hmm so there was a weather report on it okay let's go talk to the sisters uh, oh this is the brother right jojo is probably up there please let me know if i can help you with anything yeah let's talk about uh i don't know something sword thunder okay we're definitely missing a couple clues then that we have need to that we need to talk to the brother about dahlia poor joan what did she do to deserve this <clears throat> nothing nothing at all what's up with the brain in the jar you're going to pickle it rose no this stupid family tradition i really hate it what exactly is the point of this tradition? Uh, long time ago, in the Orphus family, lived two brothers who argued about a piece of land which both claimed was theirs. It actually got so crazy that they decided that the land will belong to the one who was the smartest among them. So how did they find out who was the smartest? A test? No, they freaking killed each other but not before ordering their sons to take out their brains after death and... They weighed them! They freaking thought that whoever had the heavier brain was smarter than the other! Sounds like both of them were idiots. Yep, their sons were the real smart ones though. They just sold that land and shared the money. They then used that money to buy separate lands. And they then started this tradition to remove the brain after death to remind our family of the values of unity or something. Sounds like you aren't a fan of this tradition. Why would I? It's so gross! Even brother was against it before. I changed his mind a few years earlier. A few years ago? Was it because of family values Jo what his job? Was it because of Joan? Yeah, because she left for the dude. I, I, I think so. I don't think she ever mentioned being interested in a tradition. Maybe he wanted his wife to have his brain as a memento? That's gross! No! Even though we removed the brain from the body, we still put it in the grave with the body. So then, why was he in favor of the tradition suddenly? Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I see. Uh, thank you for the information. So we have to go and talk to the brother about it then? But first, the... <laughs> yeah, Joan, we know. It seems I will need to speak with her first before checking out this coffin. Uh, yeah, sure. Just... Speak to her normally, right. Mrs. Joan? Tell me, Officer Drag. What exactly is death? Ooh. This is gonna be a heavy hitter. Is death the end of the body? Where the souls leave for the next stage? Or is that a lie we tell ourselves to bury the thought that there is nothing beyond death and everything about it simply stops... existing? I guess both is true in a way. Huh? Here comes the deep thoughts. Regardless if there is a soul or not, the person we are stops existing. Our will, personality and memory stops existing. Even if that soul does find a new body, it will be a different person entirely as it experiences and processes differently. And this is reincarnation. Is this just an influence of the religion, or does the developer also believe in reincarnation? I don't know. I think it's a, a it's a beautiful religion, anyway. That sounds horrifying. That's good. 
because the priority function of what we call our consciousness is existing as long as possible. Our consciousness does not understand death, but it knows no one has come back from it, which is why it stays far away from death. Then, what about the people who... who kill themselves? Is their consciousness flawed? That flaw is called free will, and Drag has some terrible, terrible, terrible issues with that. <laughs> So far, only humans have it. It can counter our consciousness. Now that I think about it, I've never seen or heard about an animal or bird killing themselves. You've never heard about the sheep that have thrown themselves by the by the dozens of a cliff? Or how, I mean, the dodo kind of was suicidal enough that it died? Have you looked at pandas? Pandas are so stupendously dumb they're, they're cute and all but they're so 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 dumb <laughs> i mean if you look at the videos there's so many videos of pandas just being the, the, the goofiest thing ever <laughs> anyway there's there's plenty of examples out there free will is a terrifying gift it taught us to live beyond the basic needs but also gave us new ways to feel pain you know, you have no idea how to soothe a grieving person. That was a haunting response to my question. Sorry, but it sounded like you wanted someone to tell you something real instead of a pity comforting answer. I guess. Bobby's like that too. He always told the truth no matter how harsh it was. Thank you. I'm uh, feeling better now. Please ask me any questions regarding today, no matter how harsh they are. I'm ready. No problem. And, uh, thank you for cooperating. So now we can finally discuss the evidence with her, so uh, let's just go about everything here. Uh, talk to her. Uh, I'm sorry. Frankly, I wasn't in that room, so I can't tell anything more than you know already. Right. Uh, talk about the body. Same answer. Yes. Talk about the sword. What can you tell me about the sword? Oh, I believe it was Bobby's retirement gift? He was given the sword after he couldn't continue working in the army as a soldier. So I have heard. What can you tell me about his army life? I I'm not the right person to ask that since we first met soon after his retirement. He kept the sword in the wall as a conversation starter, but I don't think he was particularly attached to it. So he rarely spoke of the sword, even his army life. I think being forced to retire made him a bit sour. I wanted to ask more, but he always found ways to avoid the topic. Maybe it was something bad? Something he lied about? Like maybe being in the army? No, I don't think so. He received his pension on time, and I even met some of his army buddies time to time. So, why didn't he like talking about it? Well, some of his army friends I mentioned looked surprised when they talked to him at first. I always found that odd. Hmm. Sounds like his friends found something odd in his look, body, personality... Odd in his, in his look? I'm... Wait, body? No way. Okay, personality. Okay, I'm a... Uh, I'm a bit off today, I don't know why. Since his friends were confused after he talked, maybe there was something different with his personality? Oh, actually, yeah! Many people, including Daria, told me that meeting me changed him a lot. So falling in love made him change that much? I guess. Many people pointed out that he was a better person and thanked me for it. Did you not feel the same way? Yes, because he was already the person they say he was when I first met him. I had no idea what they were talking about. I see. Uh, thank you for your information. Interesting. So he changed. Why though? This thing is related to an evidence, but which one? Well, the, 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 this one for sure. Wait, for real? You're not gonna check the coffin for, you know, the thunder strike? The coffin, the eternal bed of the dead. I wonder what kind of coffin would I be put in after I am dead? We selected the most comfortable coffin in our budget for Bobby. I guess it depends on how much we love that person. So it's just gonna be a wooden box. If that's true, then my body would be put in a sack and would be thrown off a cliff. <laughs> huh? Uh, never mind. What's so special about this coffin? Well, it has some cushioning on the inside and a pillow, I guess. Not sure what kind of wood it is, though. 
Hmm. Considering what happened, shouldn't a coffin be smelly, rotting, singed? Yeah, pretty much. A lightning strike struck it, right? Shouldn't it be singed, not even scorched, considering the damage it did to the roof? Oh, you're right. Maybe the lightning was absorbed by Bobby's body and didn't reach the coffin? But his body did not have any burn marks either. Who did you buy this coffin from? It came with a funeral package, so the priest might have made it or has a deal with someone who makes it. I guess I know who I should talk to next. The priest, but uh, let's just check on... Ah, we can check on the Holy Bible. Also, the window got damaged here. This window is broken. Mm-hmm. Probably by the rubble. Allow me to present to you the music of life. As you may have noticed, the music was horrible and short, just like my real life. Ah, uh, I gotta love it when drag gets all suicidal and, you know, dreadful. Uh, yeah, but you can actually help me. Uh, I wanna talk to him about uh, the sword? No. Body? Clues? Coffin? Thunder? Nothing at all. Jesus, man. Oh well, I guess we're gonna have to go uh, check with the priest then. Uh, anything else I can talk to Tira about? I already talked to her about this. Coffin. I bet you want one of your own, right? In due time, Tira. In due time. Fancy sword. Aren't these supposed to be for decoration and never be used? Did you already establish that this guy was dead before the stabbing? Yep. I will wait till the finale for your great reveal of our strange connections. Okay, I think we've got every uh, interaction with her. I am gonna go back and talk to Polly again about the other clues that we have. I have people searching nearby hospitals. I will let you know if you find something. Okay. The body. I already saw the body. The sword. We need to check the sword. Yes, and the coffin. I hope you will continue looking into the coffin. The uh, lightning? I don't know what's going on between you two, but it's better. Okay. We had every interaction with him as well. Let's go and check up on uh, the priest. There's also, like, so many more notes for me to find. Where the hell am I supposed to find? Wait. Wait. There we go. I can't get this itch of my mind and I have seen that kid before in my life. I know that face. Roberts's diary. Hmm. Kid? What kid? Oh wait, we can actually check this as well. Hmm. The lightning in this room is terrible. Some spots on the brain is darker than normal. Oh, okay, so we definitely should check around this whole place using the ember, uh, using the lightning. I need something to throw in the fire first. We're actually gonna put this on fire. Check on the bin. There's a complaint ladder in here about rats hiding in the ceiling. <laughs> there's rats, rats in your walls. Okay, there's gotta be some interaction with the eye test here. Yes. Warning, try to avoid strong light after being in the dark as you can go temporarily blind. 6 out of 10 clues. What else? What else? Here we go, medical supplies cabinet. It's not fully stocked though. Ooh, maybe something was used. Check the window. Yep. This broken window has some white powder on it. It seems the sunlight is making it smoke. We're getting closer. Let's talk to the dude about it. Actually, no, let's talk about all the clues that we have here. Mr. Gibson, are you ready to talk about this yet? Yes, please ask whatever you need. Can you tell me everything exactly as you remember after your son left you alone in here? <sighs> I was reading Robert's diary. Well, his diary written by my daughter since he was illiterate. When suddenly, the sky darkened. I heard an explosion and felt the ground shudder. Can you tell me everything exactly as you remember after your son left you alone in here? Uh, zombie lightning strike, lightning strike. That was probably the lightning strike in the cathedral room. 
So I have been told. After that, I was disoriented and tried to get a grip on my surroundings. Then there was a sudden flash of light behind me and... He appeared. The supposed dead Robert Orthos. Yes! He called my name and started speaking nonsense about how I ruined his and Jojo's life. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, who's Jojo? Oh, right. Uh, Jojo is her nickname for my daughter Joan. Everyone who was close to her called her that. Hmm. Long shot, but did this person also call her Jojo? Priest Robert Dead Body? Robert? What dead body? Robert? Wait, the dead body. Yes, the, the dead body called her Joan, not Jojo. Did the dead body of Robert call her Jojo to you? Huh? Uh, no. He, he called her and, and I quote, Harold, you, you forsake us, forsake your daughter. Your daughter, huh? What's this about being forsaken? Robert and Jojo married against my wishes, so I kicked her out of my house and the estate. That was five years ago, right? But it didn't feel like I was kicking her out as she mostly left on her own volition because I wouldn't accept her marriage. I see. What happened next? Well, I was angry about what he said and I took the sword that was kept on display and charged at him with it. I was so blinded by anger that I didn't even stop after he screamed at me to wait. Wait, that, and that Robert asked you to stop? I, yes, but, but then there was this huge and loud flash of light and I closed my eyes and stabbed blindly. The lightning struck again? I believe so, but it was too late. I could feel the sword stabbing the flesh. It got stuck at him during the third stab. Third stab? There was only two. I see. That flash blinded me temporarily and left my ears ringing. So I concentrated on regaining composure. When I did, I found him sprawled on the floor, bleeding, with the sword on the floor. I picked up the sword thing he would stand again, but he never stood up again, and then the gravity of the situation hit me. After that, the others came in here and saw you standing with the sword and a dead body. Y yes Hmm. Something about this is wrong. One of these points doesn't match the evidence. Number of stabs. Land of blood, rubber being illiterate, no, that's all true. Number of stabs. Did you say you stabbed him thrice? Uh, yes. Like I said, the sword got stuck inside him on the third stab and I let it go. No, he could have pulled it out and that's why we saw the blood. Yeah, yeah, that's why we saw the blood, because he pulled the sword out and then the blood came, I don't know, slashing out of there. But the dead body has two stab wounds. This is getting real convoluted. We're looking for someone with a stab wound. That's, that's clear right now. That's all for now. I'll let you know if I have more questions later. Yes. Let's talk about the body. Oh, I really wish I could turn back time. Nothing. The sword. I, I just grabbed the first weapon I saw. I have no idea why the sword was there in the first place. The coffin? The coffin? I just saw it from afar. I have no idea what to tell you about it. And we've talked to him about everything. Let's go talk to the priest about more stuff. Here we go. By the way, if that old man is hurt anywhere, I have fully stocked medical supplies in the embalming room. Anything to avoid a lawsuit, right? He said fully stocked, huh? Not so fully as he promises to be. Also, tell us about the coffin, dude. What's up with that coffin? <sighs> we put bodies in it and we bury it in the cemetery. Do you not know how coffins work? I'm an expert on coffins except this one. Was this one made by a magician or something? Huh? No. I made it with my own two hands. It's a normal coffin. Then explain how it is not damaged at all by the lightning strike. The inside fabric is not even singed. I, I don't know. They're usually not that sturdy. Sometimes I fear they will break if lifted wrong. Alright. Then you're sure that you made this one same as the others? Fragile and cheap? Uh, yes? Hmm, something about what I said sparked a reaction from him. But what word was it? Fragile saying cheap. Cheap. Ah. Dang it, he's not an evil capitalist after all. <laughs> uh, s wait, same? Fra. 
God dang it. Fragile? Okay, so same. I'm doing really bad right now, I know. Same? Something similar to this particular coffin, perhaps? Yes, I made two coffins that look the same. What are you confessing here? There is another one? Why? Well, when I was making it for Robert, I received a letter along with the full payment, starting that they needed one exactly like this one. Who sent the letter? And where is that other coffin? Uh, the sender was anonymous. I'd already sent the coffin this morning to the address given in the letter. Where? Where did you send it to? I don't remember the address, but I still have the letter. It is in one of the bookshelves somewhere. Let's hope that letter is found. Otherwise, I have to seriously consider your involvement in this case. I swear! The letter exists! It is in one of the bookshelves! Okay, okay. We'll go... We'll go check out the bookshelves. Which I totally checked out before already, but I guess we didn't know what we were looking for before. The piece is related to a clue, but which one? Oh, yeah, of course, the coffin. Nope, not here. Nope, not here. Which one of these files might contain a letter for the coffin? Payment receipts, expense reports, event dates. Not event dates. Expense reports? Nah. Payment receipts. He received the payment with the letter, right? So he might have kept it in the payment receipts file. I found the letter! Hmm. What's up? Did you find something? Someone asked to make another coffin like the one here and had it delivered to an address mentioned here. Seriously? What does it say exactly? To the maker of the coffin. I want a coffin that looks exactly like the one you're making for Jojo's husband. You'll find the full payment in a small bag sent along with this letter. Here's the address where you will send it. And? Huh? That's weird. It's address. I know this address. You do? What's there at the address? A, a child care center. The same one I used for my kids when they were small. We did have a clue that something about us. I don't know, recognizing a child face, whatever. Why would a child care center want a coffin that looks exactly the same as this one? I have no idea. I will immediately go there to find out. I'll be back soon. Alright, I will ask his family about it then. They might know about it too. Hmm, I'm still missing one note. But it was this, this is the bag, right? This is the money bag. It's gotta be the money bag. Anyway, let's go and talk to the, the family about the extra coffin. Huh? Childcare center? I don't know, no one in our family has kids. Hmm, if she doesn't know, then maybe... Maybe the sister? Mrs. Joan, is there something you're not telling me? P pardon? For some reason, a childcare center has come into this case. Do you know anything about it? Uh, oh! Uh, I guess there's no reason to hide it anymore. Something we should know? I used to be pregnant. I lost the... A few months before I could. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. I was really depressed. I was starting to feel as if I was being punished by God for going against my father's wishes. I was so deep in grief that I... That I... You... You tried to adopt, break things up, commit suicide, drink it away. This is gonna go real dark, isn't it? Yes, it is. Miss Carrie's depression? You tried to kill yourself? Y yes I almost succeeded too, but Bobby found me before I drowned. Can you imagine? A guy who can't swim desperately trying to reach me in the sea while calling me. He wasn't ready to let you go. Wait, is that why he drowned? I was so scared seeing him flooding and drowning. I swam until I caught him and brought him to the shore. And then I realized... If seeing him drowning like that scared me this much, then how did he feel seeing you flowing away? <laughs> I was so stupid! 
I was going to throw everything away for a tragedy that was already behind me. It was then that he started taking me to the daycare center where we both volunteered to work on our free time. You and Robert volunteered at the daycare center? Bobby thought it would be a good idea for me to work with children. And he was mostly right. I did feel better. I couldn't feel months ago after I felt better, but it seems like he enjoyed volunteering more than I did. So I continued working there till now? Why did you not tell about this before? Because no one knows about this. My miscarriage, my attempt and even our working in the daycare center. I was scared of what people might think, which is why we agreed to keep it a secret. Hmm. Did you invite anyone from that daycare to this funeral? Uh, no? I was planning on telling them later as this was a secret. I see. So no one from the daycare center was supposed to know about the funeral. And how did they find out? Unless... I didn't invite my family either, but Dahlia invited them. Now she was looking out for me, but... What exactly happened between you and your family? From what I know, your father-in-law wasn't very fond of Robert. That's putting it gently. But you already know my side, probably. Ask my father and brother about the rest. I might just do that. Thank you for the information. Ah, the final clue. Got it. There we go, the final clue. Uh, I mean the final clue that we have to collect. There's one more clue that we need to collect uh, considering the notes. But you, tell me. Mr. Gibson, Ryan, I would like to talk to both of you about your history with Robert. Ugh, oh, I knew we would have to talk about it eventually. Do we have to? My father is still not... Considering Robert's undead version tried to kill him and getting stabbed instead, yeah, we need to talk about it. Ugh, <sighs> Jojo. She just introduced him as her boyfriend to us one day out of the blue. I was taken aback. That's true, Jojo never brought a guy home before, so we were evidently shocked. You guys didn't like him from the start. When you have generational wealth, you'll find many people claiming to be your soulmate, but reality is often different. Sounds like you experienced a few soulmates yourself. Not just him. I had a few bad relationships myself, so I know why father thought that way. Yes, but I also knew my daughter is not stupid. So I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt and played along for a while. So what changed your mind? He started to show his true colors! That bastard tried to take over the family business! Really? Y yes, he tried to contact some of her business partners and even pressured some of her employees to give sensitive information. How did you find out about all of this? The, the, the business partners forwarded the letters he sent to them, and employees came forward about it to my secretary. Letters? Sounds familiar to someone who experienced the same communication. The priest, yeah. Do you still have those letters? They might be still in the office somewhere. I will have someone fetch it for you. It doesn't matter anyway. He didn't confess to it then, so why would he confess in death? I guess someone was playing as the dead son-in-law. You confronted him about it? That's what caused this family to break. Robert denied everything, and Jojo stood by his side like a shield. That bastard had hypnotized my daughter. She refused to listen to reason. She even claimed that it was a conspiracy by us, and even argued with the employees who came forward. It got so bad that a few employees even had to take an extended break for a few months. I see. What happened next? I ordered Jojo to break things off with him, for her own sake. I know it's a harsh move, but it was the only way to save my child. But... She doubled down instead. I married Robert. You can imagine the rest. Mr. Robert got so angry that he removed Miss Joan from his estate and will, right? That was the only way to prove that Robert married her for money. I thought Robert would eventually show his true colors to Jojo since they were kicked out. We were hoping Jojo would come to her senses then. So he waited five years, but with no results. That bastard was playing the waiting game. He knew we loved her too much to keep her away forever. In these five years, there was barely any contact. You had no idea how they were living. You... You didn't know about any major events in their life? No. We didn't even know about the funeral. Seems 
like Joan and Robert really did hide their miscarriage and her attempted suicide from everyone. Hmm, wait a second. Did you say that Robert sent those letters? That should be impossible considering that he's illiterate. Address injury illiteracy. Didn't you write and report that you were reading his diary which was written by Joan since he couldn't write? Uh, uh, that's... That's... He probably had someone else write the letters? His sister, perhaps? No, she's also literate. Why are you asking me? Didn't it come up five years ago when you accused him of sending those letters? That's weird. Why didn't he say that? It was a perfect defense, right? Did he lie about being illiterate? I... I don't think so. He once had me read a letter he had gotten and it turned out to be a love letter from Jojo. That was embarrassing. I had looked into his past as well. There was no indication that he was educated. Even his current job was mostly manual labor. So then why didn't he defend himself with this when he was accused of sending the letters? I... I I'm not sure. I've no idea what to believe in anymore. Why didn't he bring it up? It was as if he wanted them to doubt him. But why? Hmm. Polly has returned. He can be found in the embalming room. Polly! Uh, wait. Uh, a fireplace, blah, blah, blah. Polly! Uh, Polly! Polly, 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 Polly! We want to talk to you. Here you are. You're back. Did you find something? I'll get to it. I think you also must have found something about the daycare, right? Yes, Robert and Joan used to volunteer. Both of them volunteered at the daycare center after Jones's miscarriage led to depression and she tried to take her own life and failed. Whoa, okay. I uh, did find they worked there but didn't realize it had deep history behind it. I hope that's not all you found. I did find something. Turns out some of the employees from the pharmacist company use that place from time to time. Did they now? Did you say employees? Like, ones who work in their office? Not some low-level workers, right? Eh? Yes? Office employees? Why? Something I should know? Well... Five minutes later... He tried to coerce and pressure them? That's weird. I met his office employees and even showed his portrait to them. They claimed they met him for the first time in the daycare. What about Joan? They should have recognized their boss's daughter, right? No, the other daycare volunteer said Joan never met the parents and only stayed inside with the kids. Probably because it was part of her therapy to stay with the kids. But what about the coffin? That's the infuriating part. The coffin was delivered to... Guess who? Robert, Joan, Dolly... To Robert? Yes, to Robert! So the staff kept it aside, then someone came with a letter from Robert saying to give the coffin to that person. A letter again? But Robert was already dead since the drowning. I checked the letter. Same handwriting. The staff couldn't ID the person. They were dressed in baggy clothes. The culprit knew the staff in a daycare did not know about Robert's death, so using his name did not ring any alarms to them. Drag, what the hell is going on? I'm losing my mind with this case. I am too, but not because of this case, just in general. <laughs> but I know we will crack it. Family matters, okay. Oh, there we go, we didn't talk about the sword to her yet. What do you know about your brother's sword? That thing? It was a retirement gift. Imagine my surprise when Bobby suddenly came home one day with the sword. Bobby? Roberts is Bobby nickname. What? I'm, um, I'm a bit confused by that line, but I think I, I got the gist of it. Jones is uh, Jojo, by the way. Why? You didn't have one? Does useless garbage of society count as a nickname? Whatever. Anyway, when he came home, he told me how he was seriously injured and was bedridden for months. He didn't tell you about him being out of commission for months? That idiot didn't want me to worry. He even waited till his skin had completely healed. I could barely make out those scars. But he was surprisingly happier. It was then I learned about Jojo. It's fearsome how much love can change a person. Can you give me more details about the change, the hap his happiness, his love story? The change? 
Can you elaborate about how much he had changed? It was like he was a completely different person. He used to be an aggressive and bold person, which is why he registered in the army. Why do I have more and more the feeling like he was, I don't know, someone replaced him? A lookalike or something? But after meeting Jojo, he was calmer, more honest in his ways, and became a gentle giant in a way. Do you believe love can change someone that much? Before? Maybe not. But after witnessing Bobby's growth after meeting Jojo, I became a believer in love. I see. Uh, thank you for the information. Okay, well that was interesting. Wait a minute. Can I? There we go! I knew I had to do something with the fireplace, but I couldn't. It, it might have been because it was the final clue. Whoa! That white powder sparked flashly when I put it on the embers of the fire. And there we go. It was all a magic trick. You've collected all the evidence regarding the case. Study the evidence you have collected and talk to Polly when you're ready to move on to the next stage. But we will go to it immediately. And crack the case wide open. Polly, 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 Polly. How's the investigation going? Proceed to the next stage. I have found enough. I think I do. I did. I don't think I can find anything more without tearing this place apart. Can I tear this place apart? <laughs> I'll tear you apart if you keep this up. Let's regroup with Tira and exchange information. Right. So, who did it? Well, actually no, we know who did it, but why did he do it? Why did Robert fake all this? Because it was fake, right? It, it should have been fake. Somehow. Some way. Or maybe there was a murder. Oh, wait, there was a murder. There was a murder before. That's gonna be it. Right. Yes, but who? Someone from the daycare? Maybe? I'm unsure. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out. Oh, great god of goddess! We dare not assume your gender! Can you give us salvation? The hell is he doing? I think this is his way of praying to solve the case for him. No wonder God has listened to his prayers. <laughs> Damn it! Even praying doesn't work! Do I need to sacrifice drag to God to get some answers? No! What you need is to sacrifice some tomatoes for tomato God. Or is it potatoes for tomato God? Because tomatoes are considered to be holy. Are they sc I'm always I'm always really confused about this part. I think it's I think we need to yeah it's, it's got to be potatoes that you need to sacrifice for the tomato god because tomatoes are supposed to be holy. That's that's it, right? That's it. And tomato god's got to be in cahoots with the spaghetti monster. It's got to be. Wouldn't try to try. Hell yeah! I'll get the sacrificial dagger. Stop messing around. What the hell are we gonna do? If we can't prove it was not an undead, they may have us go to cemeteries and other funerals with crosses and holy water. I can't go through all that again. Again? Again? When was the first time? <laughs> oh, I remember now. Your part-time night job in the cemetery. Me and Drek screaming from the shadows. Wait, that was you guys? You are the reason I thought I would be dragged to hell that night? Oops, we didn't tell you about that. I don't think we did. <laughs> Uh, Polly, 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 Polly. Damn, even the hospital search turned out nothing. Does the cupboard have his own clinic or something? He might have. And we're standing in it. The nearest hospital is actually pretty far on foot. I'm thinking the cupboard actually may have died on the way. It would take forever to find a body if that's true, as this place is surrounded by trees and is prone to flooding. Honestly? Who tries to kill someone this way? This case feels like an elaborate stunt or dare gone wrong. Huh? Wait, you're right. Why would someone go through the trouble? Polly? We were so busy about the who and the what, we never asked the question why. Why? Oh, why did someone try to kill Mr. Gibson? What purpose did that serve? The only two people with the motive are Robert and Joan. Robert's dead, though. That leaves Joan. I know they hate each other, but not enough to kill him, right? Joan feels more like she wanted to distance herself from Mr. Gibson and his well. Killing him would do her no good. Uh, then what about that sister, Dahlia? She invited him to the funeral, right? 
Nah, I talked to her and she didn't seem the scheming type. Besides, this was done with planning and not blind rage or anger. Then that only leaves the son, Ryan. He had the assets, time and money to pull it off and... A motive? The estate. Mr. Gibson kicked Joan out of it and his will five years ago. You think he feared she would be brought back? Fear? No. Was the old man already fixated on it? He came to the funeral with that goal in mind, right? Oh, but the son was greedy. He wanted it for himself. But if the old man would turn around his decision, he wouldn't get it. She would own everything. So, instead, he... Ah, right, okay, so he killed his father, made it look like it was, I don't know, some supernatural event or whatever. Actually, no, it's way too, it's way too elaborate, man. Not to mention those letters. They match the one sent to the priest. It was a secretary who revealed the coercion. Ryan forced his secretary to lie. That actually makes sense. So he tried to kill his own father before his sister would become part of the estate? This seems plausible, right? I think so too. This is the first time they've been on the same line before the case was blown wide open. Why do I feel like they're sort of wrong right now and it's, you know, gonna pull out completely different in the end? He probably hired some assassin to pull it off. But we don't have any proof though. Uh, if it is a professional assassin, then finding him would be hard, even if he's seriously injured. Damn it, God! Why must the rich get away with everything? What do they have on you? Wait a second. The assassin knew about the child care center, right? What did he know? Robert and Joan kept it a secret, right? Ryan wouldn't have known about it unless he's been keeping tabs on his sister. Huh. Ha! If that's true, then he's a scumbag. That guy would never find true love like I did. Uh, <clears throat> tear up. <laughs> you know what? No, no comment here. No comment. True love. Robert and Joan. A fulfilling relationship. A family. A special bond. Soulmates. When you have generational wealth, you'll find many people claiming to be your soulmate, but reality is often different. Sounds like you experienced a few soulmates yourself. Not just him. I had a few bad relationships myself, so I know why father thought that way. Soulmates, estate, fake relations, Gibson's is death, Jones's expulsion. Drag? Letters, illiterate, quarter, employees, few months holiday. Shh, he's almost there. He's almost at the answer. Daycare, five years, brain retirement, liar, liar, liar! He was not lying! Holy hell! He was not freaking lying at all! Ooh. All right, what do you need from me? I didn't even explain. How long have you known you? Spill it out. What do you need? I need both of you to go pick someone up. Tira, the person I want you to pick up is an ex-employee of the station. Seriously? That guy? Okay, damn. I shouldn't have agreed this readily. Polly, the person I want you to pick up is probably at the daycare center. Okay, what did it look like? I'm not sure, but if I remember reading Roberts' diary correctly, they look the same. This face is something that will make your head scratch. What? Wait, did we read that? I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> did I comment on that? But make your head scratch? I'm confused. I'm really curious right now. Save the game. Yes, and now we've got to the final part of the game. The plot twist ending. Welcome to my funeral! <laughs> he has dreamt of this moment, hasn't he? Well, to be honest, it is a practice funeral for when my time comes. Um, are you dying or something? We're all uh, dying a little, aren't we, Joan? Just a little, day by day. Nope, I just hope to die someday. The hell? Aren't you supposed to be working on the case? This is the case. My funeral is a part of the process to solve this case. Uh, yeah, he's gonna enact the whole funeral. Yep, gotcha. 
How is this a part of the process? I'm trying to see if I can become an undead as well. Huh? Why do you want to be an undead? Because the undead are emotionless and do not feel anything. I see it as an upgrade to my current way of life. Because all I feel is pain. Being an undead is so much better. <laughs> Phew. What was that? Imagine this music playing while your body sits in that coffin. I love it. Also, this music is known to make people emotional. There will be more tears than usual at your funeral. If by tears you mean tears of joy, then it's plausible. Huh? <laughs> sure. But I... Oh, there are the clouds. Ah! It's happening again! How did he do it, though? Heavens forbid! What is even going on? How did he get it dark? Wait, no lightning? Uh, huh? Nothing? Nothing happened? Of course not! The dark disappearing was simply a coincidence. Co coincidence? What you saw, or I, I guess you did see, was a cloud, a giant bird, an eclipse, a cloud, I guess? It was simply a dark cloud passing by. If you had read today's newspaper, you would have known about it. But then, that lightning... Ah, about that, you see... What is Dr. Sai doing here? What the f what, what What is he doing here? Hello, Dreg. I'm not sure if I like this. Heavens forbid it's a devil! Haha, <laughs> very funny. I found this guy trying to make a duck with a snake and a rat in some weird science lab. I'm gonna call it a platypus. Oh, that's a holy invention. That's a holy invention. Jesus, man. The platypus. Be gone, devil! I cast you out of this church! First of all, you called me here. Secondly, the church is equivalent to my parents' home, so... I said be gone! <laughs> Throw something at him. Wait, what? What? Oh, the white powder, yes! Of course. Wow, really, Drag? That was rude. <laughs> ah, it really is the devil! R run for your lives! Relax! The lightning that you saw was this white powder's reaction to force and heat. Magicians use this all the time. L wait, so he's not the devil? I mean, he is the devil. Oh, uh, he is. What you saw wasn't God's judgment, but a simple trick timed to the dark clouds. So the lightning strike was a fake? Yes, a clever trick. Similar to the one done with daycare, letters, sword. Hold on, wait, what do you want me to do here? A clever trick. The, the, the letters, I suppose, that was also a trick? L letters? You mean from five years ago? Did you find out who wrote his letters and framed Bobby? The letters from five years ago matches in handwriting and make off paper to the one sent to the priest to make another coffin. What? Are you sure? Yes, the same handwriting and paper was also used to fool the daycare center where the second coffin was sent to. Daycare center? Why did they send it to that place? We don't know anyone there. Uh, sorry Joan, but the secret has got to spill. Joan will explain later. But more importantly, all incidents surrounding Robert was done by one person. Who? Oh, who dared to disrupt this? Hey. Uh, yes, Dr. Sai? I know you're in the zone or whatever, but why am I here? Jeez, patience is not your virtue. I am the devil, right? I don't have any virtues to speak of. That's true. The reason I called you here is because other than being a mortician, you're also a psychologist, a devil, a healer. A psychologist, I, I, I guess. You do psychology, right? The study of brains? A simple way to put it, but yes. Why? Do you have a patient for me? Yep, here we go. What are you doing? Of course, the brain. Your patient is this brain in a jar. What? You don't know that psychology involves having the patient alive, right? I know. I simply want to take a look at this brain and find out if anything was wrong with it. 
I think it would be easier to call the dead guy's soul and talk to him instead. That's what I suggested, but Jack said it wasn't here. Just trust me on this one. You know I don't ask for things unless there's some validity to it, right? Fine, but... You will owe me one, Drag. Is that a deal? A deal with the devil? Sure, what could go wrong? I accept... Oh, did we... Did we just witness Drag making a huge mistake here? Drag! It's only like now, Officer Tira. Now, let's take a look. What exactly should I be looking for, Drag? Darkened spots, to be precise. Darkened spots. I want you to look at them. Hmm. Oh, I think I get what you mean now. So, am I right? Yep, the person whose brain this is had an ischemic stroke about more than five years ago. What? I knew it. A stroke can cause various changes in the brain, which is why people who know him from five years ago found him different from before. But everyone assumed it was because he met Joan. W what? My, my brother had a stroke? H how did that happen? Stress, aggression, injury? He was injured when he was in the army, right? The reports didn't specify the location of the injury, but it was probably on his head. Huh? Head injuries can cause strokes? Uh, did the priest just ask that in a serious tone? What? If the brain or his arteries are hurt, then yes. Ischemic stroke happens when blood doesn't reach a certain part of the brain. So, the Bobby I knew was not the real Bobby? Depends. If a person's hand is cut off, does he stop being that person? The Robert Jr. was real, Joan. That injury had changed him permanently. There was no going back. Huh? So, my brother? He died in the army then, right? Spiritually? Did Robert forget you or stop caring for you? No, I, I don't think so. Then you have your answer. Hold on! What does this have to do with the letters? Whoever sent those letters in his name to your partners had probably looked into his past like you did. The culprit did not know he had changed, sent the letters and faked the coercion to incriminate him and break your family. And they succeeded. What the hell? How would anyone go through all this? Unless... You're thinking the right thing. This was and is also now, always have been about the estate, revenge, love, the estate. All of this was done for a huge generational wealth you're so proud of, Mr. Gibson. Wait a second. Robert being framed, Joan being kicked out of the estate, the plan to kill me? Ryan! Did you? Of course not! I would never do such horrendous things to you too! Wait, was it the sister? I never said it was your son, Mr. Gibson. No. Although saying that he's not involved is wrong too. What? What are you talking about? I was never involved in a single thing! I'm not talking about a thing. I'm talking about a who. Huh? Oh my god, who was he hiding in that coffin this whole time? Hey! You better come out now! If you're alive, that is! Who is in that coffin? Looks like God is not interested in facing you, Jag. I'm not calling out to God. I am Holtz White Powder. Let me show you. Where should I throw it? Ground, coffin, seal... To the ceiling! All right, that was your last warning. Take this! Fake a lightning strike! <laughs> what? That must be the rope you used to bungee up and down from there. They'll come out before I- Oh, the, the note, the clue about the bungee jump, okay. Oh, wait, uh, uh, I'm coming down. Who is that? Uh, Nice and easy. And you have some moons from Mr. Gibson's attack. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet our killer, also known as 
secretary. <laughs> the magician. The volunteer. No, the secretary. The secretary of Ryan Gibson. What? S -s Sandra? Is that really you? I. Uh... Sounds like her wounds opened up. I'll take care of it. Why is Dr. Sai being so helpful all of a sudden? Hmm. It seems you had some first aid done. I know. She stole items from the embalming room. The display room, the, the embalming room. Yeah, some stuff was missing. There were supplies missing from the medicine cabinet there. I knew because the priest said it was fully stocked. I thought he was lying, but okay. I. I. You don't have to say anything without a lawyer present. You have rights. Oh, yeah, that's a thing right now. I forgot. Uh, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, stop interfering! That's okay. I was half expecting her to turn up dead from blood loss, so it doesn't matter if she speaks or not. Uh, and done. Try and get up now. Uh, Sandra! What the hell is going on? I... I... Did you really try to kill Dad? It's pretty obvious at this point. I'm sure if someone checks the ceiling, we'll find Robert's zombie costume and makeup. You... You don't who said that Robert was coercing around police, right? I remember yelling at you! Th that that's That she did. But you all are probably asking, why would a secretary do all this? Ooh, she had a, a secret relationship with the son. And he didn't know that the secretary wanted all the money. Why? The answer lies in something you told me, Mr. Gibson. Lying trust soulmates. Ryan, you said you met someone who thought was your soulmate, but didn't work out because she was really after your... Yes, Officer Drag. I know what you're getting at. Ryan! Five years ago, I had relations with Sandra. Mm -hmm. What? So many shocking events! Ryan? Ryan, you finally admitted it! But we broke things off years ago, Sandra! We're not even married! What did you think you got this state? That's... I... I'm pretty sure I know. Stop. There was something you wanted. Something so badly that you wanted a fake reason to get it. But please, no. All you had to do was appear a tragic employee that got caught in a crossfire between family members so you can have it. Shut up! Don't say anything anymore! You needed this thing to hide the truth. A thing you could normally get unless it causes significant mental trauma. A pay raise? No way. Extended leave? Promotion? You've gotta be kidding me! All of these are horrible, horrible options! You wanted a pay raise? Okay, fine. A promotion then. Please don't tell me it's extended leave for the love of Christ. Oh my god, it's extended leave. It's the worst option of all. It's the worst option of all. She wanted to kill people and all. What the? What is this all about? Extended leave for a few months. That's what you wanted, right? Shut up! Huh? Why would she need that money? She pregnant. I found him. Huh? Found who? I'm starting to get it. She was pregnant of a bastard son and she would have killed the whole family and claimed, you know, she would have claimed the family treasure all for herself by using her son. Yeah, okay, now it's starting to make sense, but it's still so freaking horrible, man. Actually, that's one of the first trials that is not looking horrible. And it may sound really weird if you don't know MC. Medieval cop, but in the past, you have to admit, but the children looked horrifying. They were just adult heads and you stuck a baby face onto them. It was so freaking weird. Anyway, is it just me or does he look like... Oh, God. Huh? Why is everyone reacting this way? Who is this? Brian! Why are you here? 
shudders. I, I, I... Hey, look at me. You have nothing to fear, okay? Uh, okay. Name, Brian, age of five years old, mother, Sandra. As for the father... F f father His father is me? Now he gets it. <laughs> Sandra got pregnant five years ago. She hit it by going on that extended leave for a few months when her stomach was growing. But, but why? Why did she hide it? Ryan broke things off with her because she was after his money. He would have accepted the kid, but not her. So she decided to raise the kid in secret. Make sure he grows up attached to her so that Ryan will be forced to marry her. You... you would go that far? But it was a problem. The daycare where she would leave Brian... Robert worked there too. Robert never met Sandra, but he could see the resemblance to his brother-in-law. The diary. Bobby mentioned seeing a kid's face before somewhere, but he couldn't remember. Miss Sandra, I'm arresting you for the attempted murder of Mr. Gibson. This sec Wait, what is that? I'm having a stroke reading that final word. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it back. A few days ago. But Polly? A few days ago, Robert found some wounds on Brian. He wanted to go to the cops. Uh... What is happening here? But the others suggested talking to the mother first. Child abuse? Uh, but Brian? He flinches. I... I... Hey, I am with you, remember? I... Yes. Can you tell us where Robert met your mom? I... They... They met on a bridge. Next to a river. What? W wait, does that mean... Brian told me everything. Robert confronted Sandra about the injuries on Brian. Sandra tried to threaten him to back away by saying she worked for the Gibsons. However... It backfired. Robert was finally able to connect the dots and realize that Brian is Ryan's son. So she actually drowned him. Sandra panicked when she realized who Robert was. Her plan would be exposed. Brian was not ready yet for her to come out. So she... N no! But Bobby was nice. He was the only one who stood up for me. So I... I stand for him. Mother, she put... Brian! Mother pushed him off the bridge when his back was turned. What? <laughs> There are a bit too many what's in this episode. So what if I did? Ryan! Ryan! Look at me! Look at me! I'm the mother of your child! Sandra, you killed Robert. Tried to kill my dad. You even hurt your own child. No, it was just... He falls a lot. I did not do anything to him. Sandra! You're the reason. You're the one who made all those suitors reject Ryan, aren't you? Yes! Why would Ryan need anyone when he has me? You delusional woman! You can't my brother over some money? Shut up! Little money? I can spend gold as much as I weigh every day and still have enough for two more lifetimes! You... What is the value of a human life to you? But Brian... Oh, hell no! Don't you dare approach him! Deserved. Well deserved. Ah! Brian is the child Bobby died protecting! I will send you to the grave before I even let you touch a strand of his delicate hair! Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I think you knocked her out. Also, police, police, this, this has to be stopped, you know? This is abuse of, uh... I, I think this could be, this could be abused in, in, uh... In a court of law, right? That woman being punched when she was just standing there, kind of. No, I've got a feeling this could be this could be bad for the case. Whoa, Brian! You're not just kind of a badass. She protected me. Uh, 
Missandra, you are hereby under arrest for the attempted murder of Mr. Gibson and, uh, and the murder of Mr. Robert Orthos. You have the right to remain silent, though you are already kind of silent from being knocked out. <laughs> Wait, there's more? Ryan? Uh, hello? My name is Ryan. I'm your father. Um, we would like you to come with us. Is it that easy? Uh, um... You idiot! When you speak that way, it sounds like you're trying to kidnap him! k, -k kidnap uh, That's not what I meant! I, I just wanted to ask... <sighs> Starts crying... Whoa, you both suck at this. How long has it been since you were even near a kid before? Um, when you two were kids? Seriously? I guess I have to... Move aside, everyone! I got this! Hey, I'm Bobby's sister, Dahlia. Bobby's sister? And what would Bobby say to you crying over nothing? Relax, everyone here is your friend. Except maybe that priest. Where it is, he has fire clips in here. I can assure you, I'm not holding fire clips in here. Unless you are interested in participating. <laughs> Sounds shady. Real shady. Anyway, uh, Brian, your father is not trying to scare or hurt you. He just doesn't know how to approach you, considering what you've been through. R really? Yes, Brian, I'm so sorry. I really didn't know. Why are you sorry for something you didn't know about? That I... <laughs> The kid's good! Brian, point at him and laugh! <laughs> Jeez, you guys. Thank you, Miss Dahlia. No problem. Just make sure Brian grows up to be a good kid for my brother. I'll need some help. Maybe you can help me connect? You have two seconds to rephrase that. <laughs> no, I, I mean, Brian! Help me connect with Brian like you did now from time to time. <laughs> Oh my, do I see some sparks? Um, this might be real weird to like connect at someone's funeral. Oh well. Jojo, I... Let's talk later, alright? Right now I just want to see where this goes. Alright kid, you just hit the lottery. Your dad's rich as a king and feeling guilty. Ask for anything you want. <laughs> 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 oh man. Oh, wait to abuse the situation. D then, can I get some candy? Not enough ever let me try it. Sure. We can buy a candy store. A, a s store? Whoa, no wonder rich kids grow screwed up. He asked for a handful of candy, dude. This is going to be a lot of work. Uh, I, I, I see. Alright, sure. Let's talk later. This is getting interesting for me, too. <laughs> Uh, wait, what, why did the music set this up? Also, why is Dr. Sai still there? This is this feels awkward. What are you looking at, Drang? Some people's a second chance to make things right. That's funny. I didn't know you believe in second chances. Considering that you're not giving one to my father. Your father is similar to Bryant's mother. Too far gone. And thinks of no one but himself. How would you know? You never met him. I've met the type. Too many times. You've met some too, I'm sure. But I don't know why you can't see it. Because unlike you, I don't need him emotionally. I need him to complete his work. And bring balance to this world. Lucifer, the only thing that awaits this world if he comes here is Armageddon. Look at this world, Drag! Split timelines, a dead divine, which split into two broken divines. This world is already dying. But you know what? You're right. We still don't know anything about my father. The great divine, Void. What are you getting at? So why don't we meet him in person? What?
Do we get to meet Void again? We can go visit him right now. Don't forget, you still owe me for the brain scan. Relax, he's too powerful to pass through this tiny gate. And I know you can anchor yourself here in case of danger and come back. So, what do you say? Let's put both our theories to test, shall we? Ooh, this is good. This is a good and interesting. All right. Huh? Really? I thought I would need to convince you more, considering how strong he is. You still don't get it. I'm afraid of him coming to this world, not because I fear him. Huh? You don't fear him? I am afraid. What your mother will become after she faces him, and I can assure you, meeting a scorned lover always ends in disaster. Huh? Come on, it can't be that bad, right? R right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's some wishful thinking, Lucifer. If you really have to ask, then you really don't know your mother. Yeah. Now let's go. I meet my wife's ex-boyfriend, the Divine Void. <laughs> But that's gonna be for the next episode? Yes, it will! Next episode will be Medieval Cop Season 2, Episode 10, A Void in My Heart. Ah, uh, clever title. So yeah, that was it, guys. If you enjoyed, please do leave behind a like. That would be mu very much appreciated. And uh, if you want to see more Medieval Cop in the future, whenever another episode is released, I will be uploading it right here. So see you over there. Ciao! Also go watch this video here, this, this one is pretty cool if you haven't seen it yet.